how my, my fundamentally mihir bos how long of a rope are we going to give i mean look at gautam gambhir well how long has was well, he really in the team with the kind first of first of all well, first of all, I think Arun Lal is being far too generous to his ex-colleagues in the Indian team. Um, um, because the fact is, let's, let's look at Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Mahendra Singh Dhoni suddenly emerges as a captain, takes a rookie team and wins the 2007 T20 World Cup where India was not expected to do anything. In fact, India didn't even want to participate at one stage. And this series and the series against England has shown him out to be what he is. He comes over in the press conferences as a bank clerk, a state bank of um, India employee explaining why the balance sheet is a bit off target. Where is the passion? Where is the anger? Where is the hurt? I watched India getting humiliated exactly. in England in a way that hasn't happened since the 1950s. And even in the 1950s team, and I wrote about it, though it was a bit before my time, there was a bit of passion. There was some feeling of anger. And what I don't get from this Indian team, and I've been sitting up late at night in, in London watching them in Australia, I don't get the feeling of hurt. I don't get the feeling that they are grieving about their performance. Look at Australia. Look at the two bowlers. Okay, Pattinson has got injured. But look at the two bowlers who have come back. Settle and Hilfenhaus. They were put to the sword by England, but they have come back and have proved good bowlers and are bowling to a plan. The Indian bowlers that they have taken took one wicket. One wicket in a whole day's play. I mean, this is a, this is a remarkable underachievement. To say it's underachievement, and yet... Mahendra Singh Dhoni sort of, you know, uses the old oh, cliche. I, I think the problem once. has been Mahendra Singh Dhoni. There was a, there was a bit of pride when India wanted to win the World Cup. You could feel in the country that there was that ache and anger. And I think these cricketers are far too overpaid, and they don't really care how they perform because they can come back and still get their lovely contracts oh, when they yeah. come home. Oh yes, we have. But we also got to talk about the BCCI. You know, why, why, was, why was not a single home series arranged against the West Indies ahead of this tour? How many, how many coaching camps were held? How were the bowlers trained to, to tackle the kind of, uh, kind of uh, you know, uh, bouncy tracks they'll face in Australia? Fundamentally, how hard did we work? And how hard were the cricketers willing we to work, work hard before enough. going in for a series like that? I think, exactly. Can I, can I exactly. take that I, I think, I think Mihirda Borea wanted to come in, he's raised his hand and Kunal, I'm coming to you right, uh, right ahead uh, for, for another there. rebut. Yes, Borea. You know, I, I just wanted to add to what Mihirda said. I completely endorse what he said. And you know, when you've considered 3 for 37 was Australia, right? They ended at 669 or whatever for 4. See, it means 600 runs for the loss of one wicket. And after that, Ravi Chandra Nashwin comes to the press conference and says, Oh, I'm very happy with my performance. I don't care what's there in the wickets column. Look, Chief, if you don't care what's there in the wicket column, don't be a bowler. That's what it's all about. How many, how many sticks are there in that wicket column? BCCI, you've lost the Sydney Test match by an innings and 65 or whatever runs. Within two hours, you've announced the schedule of the IPL, which is going to be the longest IPL in history. What is, what, what is, you know, what is priority? What is more significant? Is it this Sydney defeat or is it the IPL, which is a domestic tournament at the end of the day? No, no, we are great. No, we, we are great. Surely we are great, Kunal. We are great. We are the greatest batsmen. We have the greatest record breakers. We have Sachin, Dravid and Lakshman. We have all-time greats. We are fundamentally great. Especially when it comes to bat batting, we are greater than the greatest. But this greater than the greatest team, Kunal, has not scored more than 300 runs in which last overseas test? Did they score more than 300 runs? Uh, 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 Arnab, see, Kunal, I'll, 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 say, I'll say two things. First is, you know, I'm, I'm delighted to hear this, uh, you know, indignation about the IPL. There are a few of us who have been talking about it for a really long time. But at that time, we found no, you know, echoes from anybody else. And, you know, I do believe that the IPL and everything else that has been happening in Indian cricket over the last four years is a part of the problem that we're facing right now. But, you know, on the other hand, you know, why can't we just realize that, you know, it's, it's not, it, it may not be a problem of heart. It may actually be a problem of ability. You know, this greatest of great teams that we had is, is no longer that great. It's, it's just simply that, you know, our golden generation, as, as everybody can, will call it, is, is on the wane. And because it is on the wane, there is a there is a natural difference between how they do and how everybody else does. You know, the way Sachin's been batting in this tour, it's been fantastic. It's been great to watch. What Rahul did in England was fantastic. 
you know, Sachin may not have got over 100 yet, but he was, he was playing really well. See, the thing is that they are not being able to fire as a unit consistently because I think they've reached a stage no, who, where, who no, where, where they're not, not that good enough. And the big problem is who do you play? That, that is my whole point. That is why I link it to the IPL. The, the whole problem is who do you play? You know, you, you tomorrow you remove these guys and like Arun no, was why saying. Why are we not making changes? No, no. Why are we not making changes? Because I, I think we. I think why are we not I, making Because I think change. till now we because didn't realize. Because you don't have anybody. Kunal is exactly. right. Exactly. There's nobody else. Kunal is right. You don't have Kunal anybody. Right. You know, I mean. I mean there is no one. I mean, that's no, no, the whole have, problem, have, and that's no, why no, the no, Champions League and the anybody. IPL what, are to be what, blamed. What? How can you say? How can you say yeah, you don't no, have anybody? Frankly, you, we don't. For I mean, example, you, let's look, take our opener. Look, look, look at okay, numbers. You, know, you have you have no, you have Gambhir and Sehwag. No, no, listen, no, no. listen. I listen, think we should stop six. obsessing about statistics. No, no, just just Boria. one second. Boria. No, no, no. It's not about stats. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I can see. Number six. One sort of went. You tried Yuvraj for twelve years. For twelve years, you've given Yuvraj a long rope. No performance. You tried Virat so much, no performance. Suresh Raina, you tried him for quite a few test matches, no performance. Kunal is dead right. Who do you play? I mean, you want to play people in the Champions League, some stupid tournament, and there people play for four overs and get some 40 odd runs in 20 balls and become heroes like Anna, Irfa, in, Yusuf Pathan getting 2.1 million dollars. They are your heroes. No, Arnab, may I come in, please? Arnab, may I come in, please? No, no, you continue I at think. this rate. If you, no, no, on a lighter note, if you continue Arnab. analyzing the number six position at this rate, I can assure you a national clamor will begin <laughs> to bring back 39-year-old Saurav Ganguly into the side. And that is the only Arnab. more worrying thing Arnab. than what's going on down under. Arnab, Arnab, may, yes. may I come in here? Yeah. See, it's, it's, it's not always a very comforting thought when Bori and I agree on something. But now <laughs> that we have agreed on it... <laughs> <laughs> See, see, I agree with you on that. <laughs> see, see, my my point is really is is really very simple. You know, they, see, you cannot blood, in my opinion. You know, and while Arun has a completely valid point that you know, would you rather lose by an innings with twenty year olds or forty year olds? I think you know, before the start of the tour, you know, whatever happened in England, somehow we never saw that this was going to happen again, because you know, it is you cannot blood new talent on a on an away tour to Australia. You know, this is something that needs to be done with proper planning. No. I think that's totally uh, uh, wrong. Uh, no, no, that's uh, not. That's not point, how. You know, how why don't? No, that's why not how. Blood, uh, I one think. Second, Atul, yeah, Atul, yeah, did no, you no, know no, before this the, series? Here the rebut. Here the, the rebut from Atul Vasan. Here the rebut from Atul Vasan. Go in, Atul. You know, I tell you, I don't under. First of all, I don't understand this this atmosphere of pessimism about Indian cricket. Yes, we are on a downswing, but who says we don't have players? This, I think the system is working beautifully. You've got lovely players waiting, but they can only be blooded in a phased manner. You can't just remove three, four players together in one. The problem has been Gautam Gambhir, Varinda Sehwag, Virat Kohli and Dhoni. But we are laying every blame on this grid. Why are we talking so much about the trio, you know? This is their swan song. It's all over for them. They know they'll never win a series in Australia. But let them see. We have to phase them out in a manner where... Uh, we don't suffer overall. Yes, it's better to lose with youngsters than with the stars uh, because you're rebuilding. But I don't think so. It's such a gloomy picture, to be honest. We still got players. Well, if it's not such a gloomy picture, I don't know what it's gloom awesome. is. And the fact is, you cannot breed talent uh, uh, overseas. Look at 71, when India made the breakthrough, winning in the West Indies for the first time and winning in England for the first time. There was quite a lo lot of new talent. Gavaskar made his debut. Vishwanath had just made his debut. The spinners came on. Of course you can breed talent. But the point is, what has the Indian board done to invest in getting talent? Borea is quite right. All they are worried about is four overs and a few runs to win a T20 tournament. That's been the case for the last four years. No, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. No, I'm, no, no, I'm surprised nobody come, brought this up the before. <laughs> to come straight to the point, I welcome Sanjay Jha also. Who, who says into no one? Sir, everyone made this point. I mean, we've been making this one point for the boy. last four years on times now. I mean, maybe you 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 weren't listening. But we've been making this point all through. I mean, the Champions League is the most ridiculous cricket tournament. We've said this time and again, time and again. And interestingly, the broadcaster doesn't want to show I it. Agree. The players don't Sanjay, want to play in it. Spectators aren't interested. But the BCCI wants to hold it. Yeah, uh, to come in again, you know, I think, I think the problem, one very big problem and why I keep raising the IPL, is that, you know, the players are getting so much for, for doing so little, for pushing themselves so little, you know, you get some of our former players, they'll wake up in their sleep and bowl four overs. But, you know, to bowl in test cricket is a completely different ball game. And, you know, anybody can score 10 runs, no, uh, think, sorry, 30 think, runs in 10 balls. No, I but think our whole, I think our the whole problem effort is has been on easier that. to identify. Kunal, I think the problem is easier to identify. I have a theory about it. I'm very superficial in my cricket analysis. <laughs>
But I have a theory about it. Whenever under pressure, there is one change which is made. Virat Kohli in, Rohit Sharma out. Rohit Sharma in, Virat Kohli out. The fact of the matter is this. What real options can, do we have? Sanjay Chai, let me bring you back into the debate. Oh, Arun Lal is back. Arun Lal, do you agree with me on this? Let me ask you this. Dravid and Sachin cannot be dropped. They cannot be dropped. Gautam Gambhir will always stay. Sehwa cannot be touched. He's Why? an impact player. So the only changes that can happen will be Virat Kohli in, Rahit Sharma out. Most superficial swapping will happen in response to high pressure situations. Arunal, do you agree with me? I absolutely agree with you, Arnab. Uh, you know, now more than ever, it's pretty evident to me that we have to rebuild this side. I do not think that uh, we are a better team than Australia. I think Australia are playing better than us and they are a better side overall than us. So that is one thing that's clear. We may not win this series. I don't think we're going to level it either. And it may even get worse. So one thing is clear to me that we have our champions. We love them. I will always adore them and revere them. But it is time to start rebuilding. You will never find anybody to replace them. You will never, I said this before, that you will never find somebody as good as VBS Lakshman is today. But he is over the hill. He is now on the downslide. So is Dravid. So is Tendulkar. So you've got to find a way. I agree with Datur that, listen, guys, these are the fellows who will completely perform for you. They will continue to bat. But the point is that you've got to find the next generation. So blood them and blood them, you know, one at a time. Don't, you can't just remove all three, whole, uh, you know, wholesale and uh, expect to get on with it because you would, you know, it would be more detrimental. So go at one at a time. Find the youngsters, give them time. You know, the Virat Kohli's, the Suresh Rainas, the Chiteshwar Pujara, all these uh, Rohit Sharmas, this is terrific talent. You've got to look after them. So what? So what if they don't succeed initially? Give them a time. Against the West Indies, why did all our three greats play in India? We should have had some youngsters playing there, getting some confidence, getting some hundreds under their belt, and doing well, and being part of a winning side. But at that stage, we didn't use them. Shall I go?